In example four, I again have a system of inequalities. So I need to solve each, each of these and then find the area that contains a solution set for the system. My corresponding equation is 2x minus 3y equals 6. Putting that in slope-intercept form gives me negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Divide both sides by a negative 3 gives me 2 thirds x minus 2. Okay? Now, this gives me my y-intercept. So I have my y-intercept for this first equation as negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and also find the x-intercept. So I'm going to look back here, 2x minus 3y equals 6, and I'm going to let y equals 0 to find the x-intercept. And when I solve this, I get 2x minus 0 equals 6, 2x equals 6, x equals 3. So my y-intercept was at 0, negative 2, and my x-intercept is at 3, 0, right here. I have a strict inequality. So I'm going to use a dashed line. For my second inequality, 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put this in as a corresponding equation and then find it in slope-intercept form. So 4y equals negative 3x plus 12. Or y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. So my y-intercept is at 0, 3. So that gives me one point. And I'm going to find my x-intercept for this as well. 3x plus 4y equals 12. Let y equal 0. Which gives me 3x equals 12 or x equals 4. So my x-intercept is 4, 0. Right here. So I have my two points. And this is greater than or equal to, which tells me that the points on the line are part of the solution set for that inequality, in, as indicated by a solid line. So I'm using a solid line here. Now I've got my lines that, that bound the two half planes graphed for each inequality. What I need to do is find my test points see how that looks. I'm going to use test points of 0, 0 for each. For the first one, I have 2x minus 3y is less than 6. So 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 is less than 6. Is 0 less than 6? Yes, 0 is less than 6. So for this first inequality, the origin does lie in the plane where the solution set is found. Therefore, I'm going to indicate that this upper half plane should be shaded. Okay? Second inequality, 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. That's, again, test point is 0, 0. So 3, 0 plus 4 times 0 is greater than or equal to 12. Is 0 greater than or equal to 12? No. Therefore, the origin is not in the half plane where my solution set is for this second 
inequality. Looking at the line, it divides it into two half planes, upper and lower. The origin is in the lower half plane, and that is the wrong half plane. I'm therefore going to shade in the upper half plane. Okay, now what I'm going to do is find, I found the solutions by graphing for the first inequality and the second inequality. What about for the system of inequalities? It's going to be the area of overlap. The area right here where I have black and I have blue. So this area that I'm shading in more heavily. And it's bounded by a solid line on this side, indicating that the points on this line are part of the solution set, and a dashed line on this side, indicating that the points on the line are not part of the solution set. So in this example, we graphed each inequality, shaded it in so that we could see the area of overlap, which is the solutions for the system of inequality. So today on educator.com, we discussed graphing systems of inequality. See you soon.